Tired. Tired of being tired. You aren't alone. There are few human qualities more highly sought than energy. It determines our ability to enjoy life, to attract friends, to finish projects, to protect our families, to shape our bodies effectively, and so much more. While there are endless specific suggestions about herbs, exercises, meditations, supplements, rest patterns and so forth. The most important and overarching components are relatively simple, and available to anyone with the willingness to begin. Basically, your energy level will be controlled by three physical and one psychological factor, namely fitness, nutrition, rest and focus. 1. Fitness. There are many aspects that contribute to the quality called fitness, but only a few of them are specific to your energy level, such as a. Cardiovascular fitness. A minimum of 20 minutes three times a week is a must. If you want to create a swift, powerful change, try 40 minutes four times a week. Walking is sufficiently intense if you stay in the aerobic zone, which can be described as a level of exertion where you can't sing, but can still talk. b. Body mass index. Unneeded weight is like a sack of wet cement strapped to your back. It eats up energy like crazy. Regardless of what anyone says or implies, there is only one basic way to lose fat. To change the ratio of calories consumed to calories burned. In general, this requires discipline on both ends. Fat loss is a two-headed snake. If you diet but don't exercise, your metabolism can slow down to a crawl, denying you success. And if you exercise but don't eat sensibly, well, a pound of fat has about 3,500 calories. An hour of running only burns about 350 calories. Do the math. C. Flexibility. Often overlooked in the search for energy, flexibility is a measurement of tension in the body. Most stretching activities are less a matter of lengthening muscles, tendons, or ligaments than learning how to communicate with your body, to learn how to breathe into tension. D. Strength. Contrary to popular belief, strength is more in the mind than the body. It is a matter of leverage, concentration, and controlled excitation even more than it is the size of the muscles involved. On a physiological level, it is a matter of the percentage of your muscle fibers you can recruit at a given moment. Weight training, or body weight exercises such as Hindu push-ups and Hindu squats, are great ways to increase strength, which makes physical tasks much easier and less fatiguing. 2. Nutrition. Nutrition not diet. Diets do not work. Any eating plan intended to have long-term benefits must represent a change in lifestyle. A few pointers. A 3, 2 to 1 ratio of fresh fruits and vegetables to complex carbohydrates to lean proteins. Note that this ratio works for people who are active, they need the carbs. If you are trying to lose fat, or are relatively inactive, try reversing the ratio of protein and carbs. B. Drink more water. The classic recommendation of 8 glasses a day is debated, but the truth is that a lot of hunger and fatigue is actually dehydration in disguise. Note, this means water, not beer, soda, or even milk, all of which contain various nutrients or chemicals which actually require water to process through the body. In other words, they use up as much water as they give you. C. Eat 6 small meals a day. This helps keep your blood sugar levels stable, which will keep your energy from crashing in the afternoon. D. Eat today for how you want to feel tomorrow. Not for emotional reasons, or just for taste. 3. Rest. As a culture, we aren't getting enough sleep. The human body needs 7 to 9 hours of sleep a night, and if you're getting less or more than this, you may be having stress reactions, and compromising your health as a result. A. Find what your ideal sleep pattern is, and stick to it. B. Try to get to sleep before midnight. Folk wisdom says that every hour of sleep before midnight is worth two hours after. C. Take naps during the day. A quick power nap for 10 to 20 minutes can renew your energy like magic. D. Make your bedroom a place of rest, healing and recreation.
Keep your stress in another room of the house. Your sleeping place should be a womb of comfort and pleasure, specifically designed to lull you into the depths of dreamland. 4. Focus. In some ways, this is the most important tool for increasing energy. You need to know exactly what you will do with the energy when you have it. This means written goals, clearly delineated. It means being task-oriented, believing that if you can do A, B and C, there will be pleasure and satisfaction on the other end. I know people who are afraid to have more energy, because they think their kids, friends, or boss will just exploit them further. You have to have permission to be energetic, alive, and sensually involved with life. But if you give yourself this permission, if on a daily basis you move your body, eat responsibly, rest intelligently and write out your goals and steps to achieving them, you will begin to take control of your body's and mind's energy generation apparatus, and you'll be shocked at the energy that will flood your life. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. And join us for our next video.